creamy but good yummy mm, this is looking yummy woke up this morning and i pray to the most high the sun is shining so bright i'm blessed to live this life So warm ladies, I really really hope that y'all can hear me. So today we'll be making vegan pasta with wheat noodles and our sauce is going to be a milk cashew base with dairy-free mozzarella and dairy-free parmesan. So right now we're just going to cut up the onion and bell pepper. I already cooked the noodles last night. Um, all the stuff like I have to cook already did it. So the only thing I'm about to do is really make the sauce and it'll be done. I have decided to let go of meat, red meat. Um, debating about fish and chicken um but i'm i have decided to switch over to a plant-based lifestyle um and if i do keep chicken and fish in the picture that would be literally every blue moon of course still gotta bust down on the land for passover but um i am i'm just trying to do better so hopefully lord willing i will see much more healthier content for me and this is our first time trying this today and i'm very very excited we're just gonna get right into it so, put it down the middle. Oh, I just remembered that I'm eating salmon with this. Gotta cook my salmon. I really don't need all those peppers. I really just need a half a pepper, to be honest. I'm just gonna go down the middle like that. And I think that's enough. Okay. So that's literally it. Not feel like moving my camera. <laughs> um, but I peeled the skin off of my salmon and I'm going to 75033. I'm going to drizzle some oil on it. And I'm going to season it with um, blackened seasoning, okay, and we're also going to do some Old Bay, paprika, and extra seasoning. So, um, maybe I should, hold on, heat the fringes, but paprika, some Old Bay. And a little bit of nature seasoning. I know the camera moved because I'm holding it. I really did not feel like unplugging it to a different location. A little bay. And then just gonna drizzle the oil on there, rub it in. Just like that, like so. And flip it over and do the same thing. And we're gonna put it in our pan. Salmon is looking real juicy. I'm just gonna put it into our skillet. Give my peppers a little taste so they're not so bland. I'm gonna just hit it with some nature seasoning. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this Cajun seasoning that I got from Kroger. Because we are making a Cajun pasta. You know, I just want to make sure everything is flavorful all around since this will be no meat in the pasta. Um so a little bit of Cajun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down so the salmon doesn't cook so fast. But we're going to use our vegan butter. And I'm going to add that up to the salmon and the peppers. I like butter. Um, our egg balance vegan butter. We're just going to add a little bit to that back there. That salmon. And let these peppers cook. Okay. And get us a stir. You know, I'm just gonna let that salmon cook back there. Salmon don't take long to cook at all. Mm -mm. So our salmon is done. Good old blackened salmon. Ooh, it's so tasty. I'm just gonna put it in here. And now, while our peppers are cooking, 
We are going to drum roll, please. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm chewing on the mic. We're gonna be making a kale wrap from Tassili's from Atlanta. I've never been to Tassili's, but my good sis Lily, she has, and she made their wrap. And I'm using the recipe from this sister that also made it on YouTube. I'm gonna drop her video in, Laura Willem. But she used sun dried tomato spread. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm just gonna. I found this original recipe also on YouTube on Google, sorry, and they just do regular jump out tomatoes and they blend it up so i'm gonna try that but because this is already soaked in oil i don't think i'm gonna add oil so we're going to get that ready um we're gonna go ahead and slice our tomato we won't even need that right now actually we don't we don't need the tomato right now honestly the only thing we need to do is just blend stuff in the blender so let's get that going i sent the recipe recipe to my mom's ipad so we're gonna see what it's telling us so this is what they want to add to our blender. They want us to add. Let me do my measuring cups. We're gonna do four tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. Like I said, because it's already like oily, I'm not gonna add olive oil because the recipe tells you to add oil. But these hot, these sun-dried tomatoes are literally soaked in oil, so I'm not gonna do that. And they want us to add a fourth cup of Luca Aminos. I heard this is salty, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I might just add just a few drops. They say it's one fourth cup is four tablespoons, so how about, oh, gotta take this off. Ooh. I usually be prepping on Thursdays, but I didn't have everything I needed to make this on Thursday. We had a tornado one in a bad storm last night. So I didn't have everything I needed, so I had to go or order the stuff online. And I had to go pick up on my lunch break. So, um, yeah. That liquid aminos is very salty. I'm only adding a drop of that. That is too salty. That's all that's getting. I don't know where I'm adding for a tablespoon of that. And we're going to do, oh, they want us to add a half weight. Mm, oh, so I do need to cut red onion. Okay. But until then, they want us to add cayenne pepper. And they want us to add a half a cup of nutritional yeast. Half a cup of nutritional yeast. I'm not going to do a half a cup. And then they want um, garlic. That's one thing I did not get. I hope, ooh, I'll put you got something in here. I know we got some lemon juice somewhere. My granny be using it. I'm gonna add some garlic, just measure it out. And we're gonna do some lemon juice. I could just get a real lemon. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna just do this. I'm just gonna do the bottle one. Just because. I have a cup right now. Okay, so I think that's everything. Garlic, amino acid, lemon juice, cayenne pepper, sun dried tomatoes, onion, nutritional yeast. Okay. And then, literally, all I'm going to do is add this on top of the kale, put it on a wrap, add the tomato avocado, boom, that's it. This is all I need to do. I just need to blend it up. And then we're going to go blend it. So, we're going to boom. Okay, let's see what it do. All right, y'all, I'm seriously on a time crunch, but um, this is how it turned out. So we made our own paste to the spirit. Call it how about you, my shot? Good choice that I didn't add extra oil because it's been very oily. Now, what I'm going to do is I already rinsed my kale. I really pat dried it, and I kind of just broke it up like that. And I'm going to add all of this to the kale mix. Well, I don't know if I should do this now because I wanted to make it soggy, but it's... It's about too late. Well, actually, I don't know if it's going to make it soggy. So I'm just going to put my kale mix inside the bowl, to be honest. And literally, all we're going to do on the Sabbath is add the paste inside the kale, mix it up, and just spread our wrap on it. I'm going to add my red onion. Actually, I'm going to blend up some red onion because I got to add red onion to the kale mix. Um, oh, we don't have our thing. One second. 
I'm very excited to see how this turns out, but I'm going to record the rest of what I got to do on the Sabbath. So y'all will see everything while we're doing. I'm going to chop up some bread onion. And that's about it. Oh, that's not it. I have to do one more thing. So the wrap I'm doing, we're going to add, we're going to add like a Koskis mix. I don't know how to pronounce that stuff, but I will just show y'all. I bought some of this and we're going to mix with some corn and some coconut milk. And then I'm going to make this sauce for our pasta. I have to leave in like 20 minutes and trying to hurry up. I know I'm doing so much at once. This is our paste we're going to add to our kale. We're going to add this to our kale on a Sabbath because I don't want it to get soggy. So in the meantime, we're going to store it in the fridge. That's our kale. Rinse, pat it dry. This is our mix. And then boom, that's one thing out of the way. Next thing we're going to do is mix together our husky. With coconut milk and some corn. I feel like this is supposed to be cooked. Well, I did already cook it, but I feel like it's supposed to be like heated up in a pot or something. But we ain't got time for that. And we're going to add this to our wrap as well. Okay. More coconut milk. A little more corn. Okay. And then we have that. And then we're going to add this tar wrap as well. And that is it for our wrap. Y'all will see everything else I'll do next video. All right, y'all. Um, so we added our vegan. Ooh, we added our vegan butter. I honestly hate cooking on Friday. I'll be in such a rush. Um, so I used to do it Thursday, man. It's going to the Lord. Now, for our sauce base, we're using Elmhurst Milk Cashews. Got it at Sprouts. Um, just gonna add some in there. We like our pasta cheesy, okay? Literally, the only ingredients is filtered water and cashews. So, Zeus, I don't think nobody told you to get off your cage, bro. Now we're gonna add some Follow Your Heart Dairy Free Parmesan Cheese. I like Follow Your Heart, it's a very good brand. And I'm gonna hit it with some Cajun seasoning. A lot of Cajun seasoning. A little bit of Old Bay, I like Old Bay. Actually just a top. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of Nature Seasoning. And we're just gonna vegan cheese is a bit hard to melt like it doesn't melt like regular cheese with so you gotta really stir it just keep a good eye on it so i'm gonna add a little bit more cheese though hope this is cheesy enough but i feel like this one melted pretty good oh Okay. Because it's bubbling, we're going to add our mozzarella. Okay, add our mozzarella. And we're going to season it some more. Season it some more. We're just gonna let it get thick or whatever. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. This sauce is actually really freaking good. Like I was skeptical. I'm gonna add my peppers in there. I was a bit skeptical, but it's honestly like very, very tasty. It's not as thick as I would like it, so I'm just gonna wait for it to get thick. If I need to add flour, I will, but I'm gonna be patient and see if it thickens up on its own. Add our peppers, and then in the meantime, we're going to add our noodles. Let that thick up first. Okay, as y'all see, it's thickening up. I'm just gonna continue to thicken so up. So in the pot, I have added the noodles I cooked the day before, 
and I left it in the fridge. But just letting y'all know, my sauce did not get thick. It wasn't thick like the sister sauce in the video. And the reason being is because I didn't have enough fat and butter. You know, it's fat, whether it's vegan butter, regular butter. You know, I use vegan butter. I just didn't add enough butter. So, I mean, it wasn't thick like I wanted it, but it was still pretty creamy and good. So, I recommend sisters to add more cream. Like, um, do a coconut cream or cashew cream instead of just coconut milk or, ca or cashew milk. Or, you know, just add way more butter. Like, way more butter. But it was still pretty good. So, I'll press it on the side. Right though, this is so good. This tastes way better than that time I made that I made that vegan pasta with the store bought sauce. Yeah, I'm the only one eating this, so I can eat the other pot. Mm. Mm hmm. That is so good. Check the candle up. I love flour. Honestly. I'm thinking it can use a little more flavor. I'm on Cajun seasoning. But this is really good. Like, this is very good. Ooh, that's a bit much. And I'm thinking maybe a little more cheese, to be honest. It's not thick how I want it. I don't know how the sister got it that thick. But let me try it again. Mm. Wow. That's very good. Wow. I'm going to leave that alone. Now. I'm going to add it over here. It's not creamy how I want. That's the only problem I'm having. Let the cheese melt, and there we go. Friday night Shabbat dinner. All praise to the Most High. Oh, okay. So, um, lower than this is good because the sauce wasn't creamy like I wanted to, like wasn't thick. And mozzarella cheese, the one I get, it only melts like that how it should. But looks are deceiving, so let's give it a try. Creamy and good. Shabbat shalom. Mm, got some vegan pasta, cashew milk based sauce. It's a black and salmon. Ooh, not farm raised. Ooh, hoo hoo. Probably how about some else? Try any of my salad that one from Bust Down. Try it. I prayed over it. Honest taste test review. The most seasoning for you. But. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Shalom, sister. So, I just want to say, I'll play some most high for my sis Kayla, because this microphone is literally amazing. But, um, I'm going to just do the Cecilia's OG kale wrap. I'm not going to do the corn and couscous or whatever it's called. Although I cooked it um, before the Shabbat, I just, I want to taste it. Like, I want to taste how it, I want to try it um, and see how it tastes, you know, without the corn and stuff. And then, you know, if I have leftovers, I'd love to try it again. Who cut the onion like this? This is a no-no. So let me do that. Um, but as I was saying, what was I saying? As I was saying, I just want to taste it and see how it tastes originally without the corn mix. And then if I have leftovers, I'd love to, you know, try it with the corn. So I'm not going to do the corn. I'm just going to stick to what I saw. I'm just going to cut up some onion. Okay. Um, I'm cutting up. The stuff I'm cutting up is going to go on top of my wrap. So onion, tomato, avocado. I'm probably going to smash my avocado. Um... So yeah, I'm not really doing bite-sized pieces. Kind of not really. Who cares? All that onion is not going to go on my wrap though. Because my, like, no, I will literally freak out. I'm going to put some of it in my wrap. And some of it in my um uh, kale salad. 
don't look. I don't, I don't know how to cut no tomato, y'all. And I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of, like, tomatoes. So, all I want is, like, that ain't how I'm supposed to cut it. No. I messed it up. Mm-mm. I done messed up the whole tomato, child. It's this way. There we go. Ooh, that's fat. That's ooh, that's too that's too big, bro. I need my tomato pieces thin. Mm-mm. No, that ain't gonna work for me. Mm-mm. No, I'm not I'm not. Okay, we're just gonna do those two pieces because I'm going to No, we're going to Okay. Perfect. Now it's time to add our mix to our kale. And we're going to add some more onion to it as well. So I don't want all that onion in my wrap. I'm just going to mix it in real good. It smells amazing also we're gonna add some nutritional yeast give us some flavor cayenne pepper okay this smells so good oh my goodness i know this is gonna be bomb i'm so excited okay we're gonna mix all that together and I'll be back when I'm, I'm also doing this to make sure ooh, to make sure it gets evil encoded. This is an arm workout. I think that's evil encoded. Like everywhere it's spread. Mm, this literally smells so good. All right, now for the fun fun part. Goodness. Oh, I got these right here. Um, extreme. Got this from Kroger. Everything I got from Kroger. Um, and yeah, basically you can find all of this at Kroger. I didn't get the liquid aminos from Kroger. I got that from Sprouts. But um, we're gonna do some plant-based mayo. Simple truth. There's this brand called Follow Your Heart. They have some veganese, and it's really good. It tastes like regular mayo, but I couldn't find it. Well, actually, it was there. They only have the big, big, big bottle. And that thing was about $6, and ain't no way I was paying that much. So I said goodbye. It's a pretty decent one, though. Plant base is pretty tasty. I must have got the small junk because these are small. My wrap supposed to be big. <laughs> Y'all, I got the wrong size wrap. What the freak? It's okay. Man's going to the Lord. And man's going to the Lord. Okay. Add some of that mayo. I like mayo. Vegan mayo. Okay. Then she say agile kale mix. Okay. Okay. Agile kale mix. Honey. Honey. Agile onion. Onion, 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 onion. I'm gonna do one slice of tomato. Some smashed avocado. Mm -hmm. Some pepper. You know what I could have did? Honestly, I could have like stacked it so it could have been two. That's probably what I could have did, but I mean, it's too late now. No, nah, it's not too late because ain't no way I can fold that. How did I get the wrong size? I gotta be real goofy to get the wrong size, bro. Let's get a bag on. I hate how these come out. I like this. Like that. You know what? This 
<laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do it like that. Let's see. Ooh. Boom. Should we try it? And I'm going to pair it with these. These chips are bomb.com. Sorry, I thought I told y'all the name of the chips, but there are some Chipotle barbecue dairy free vegan chips I got at Kroger. Mmm, this is looking yummy. Yummy. Honest taste test. Call like how about show me out shop. This is bomb. Mm. Well, that was it. Sabbath prepping vlog. Lower will y'all enjoyed the vlog. Lower will y'all enjoyed the video. Lower will I can try the stuff that I ate. Very, very good and healthy. And come on this plant based journey with me. Anyways, I love y'all. Call it. How about your mouth shop? Shalom. Woke up this morning and I.